Everyone at home, we are still at Coffee Bay where hundreds of people have been affected by floods that wreak havoc uh, over the weekend here at Coffee Bay. Uh, we just came out of a school, uh, Gelinzi Masina Secondary School, which is completely destroyed and damaged by the floods. But here, as you can see behind me, we are next to a bridge that has collapsed due to the floods and uh, the OR Tambo District Municipality has been going around uh, assessing the damage caused by the floods but joining us now is uh, the spokesperson for the OR Tambo District Municipality, Ms. Mkita Makingwane, who will be telling us more about what exactly will be happening from now on. Thank you very much, uh, Mkita. Um, we have seen uh, the helicopter roving around. What is it all about? Um, we embarked on a process of uh, searching for six people who were missing following the heavy rains that uh, uh, wreaked havoc over Coffee Bay villages on Friday evening. So the helicopter is trying to search for the body of a 24-year-old girl who is assumed to be in that area. But what is comforting to us is that we are working jointly with the members of this community to try and search for for these uh, uh, five people that are still missing because this morning we recovered the body of a six-year-old girl who was uh, 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 washed away when floods came into her home while they were sleeping with her mother so we are continuously uh, present here in the various areas that are affected because the disaster and risk management teams are on site to assess the the, the damages and also quantify the extent of the damage